Hi everyone, so today I would like to review three um, products from by Terry, um, two foundations and one eyeshadow palette. Let's start from foundations and then move on to eyeshadow palette. This sheer expert foundation is much less known compared to the cover expert. However, I highly recommend this foundation. Out of the 70 or 80 bottles of foundations that I've collected, only three foundations stay the same eight hours afterwards. One of them is the Sheer Expert Foundation. The other two are both from Kogendo. One is the Moisture Foundation, another one is their um, Foundation Compact. If you're interested in these two foundations, I have another video reviewing 10 Kogendo products, including these two. Feel free to take a look. This one, basically, although it's called Sheer Expert, is not one of the most sheer foundations. I would say it's between light to medium coverage. And it's very creamy. The best way to apply this foundation, I think, is with fingers. Extremely easy to apply and blend. You only need about 8 to 10 seconds to apply this foundation, literally. The moment you apply it, your face will have a very natural skin glow. It's not the kind of very dewy foundation it's kind of a low-key skin glow. When I tested this foundation, I look into the mirrors to check my face a few times per day, and I don't see any difference on my face. My T-zone does not get more oily, and on the edges of my face do not get more dry either on my combination skin. So I highly recommend this foundation. This serum foundation called Fenceless Foundation, I tried it in two ways. The first time I tried it without any primer and setting powder and it did not perform very well basically. It looked really nice after 2 or 3 hours, however around the 5th or 6th hour my T-zone starts to get more oily and the drier part of my face, the foundation kind of uh, broke open. But the second time I tried it with an oil control primer together with a setting powder and it performed a little better. When you just apply it and also at the 2.5 hour checkup, it gives you a very matte finish and looks very nice. Powder is also very fine. Around the 6 hour, it gives you a very um, pretty skin-like glow. And around 7.5 hours, around the nose, the foundation starts to cake up. The foundation starts to set into the pores. And it got even worse around the 11th hour. So. Although this one is twice the price as this Sheer Expert, I highly recommend that you try out this Sheer Expert. And combination skin, if you really want to use this one, I highly recommend that you use a primer and a setting powder. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette, let's see some swatches first. It's really hard for me to decide whether I like this palette or not. There are a lot of amazing things about this palette, but also horrible things, in my opinion. So first of all, this orange color, when I look at it from in the palette, and when I swatch it on my arm, I thought it's a matte eyeshadow. But when I blend it out on my eyelids, it turned out to be a shimmery eyeshadow. Because the shimmers are so fine, that when you just look at it like this, you think it's a matte eyeshadow. That shows how high quality it has. In the first row, except for this bright yellow color, which is kind of chalky, the rest of the four perform extremely well. I think these four are as good as these are in Tom Ford eyeshadows. Moving on to the second row. When you look at these first three colors from the palette, you see the difference, right? And when you look at the swatches on my arm, you can also tell the difference. However, when you blend it out on your eyelid, I can't tell any difference, seriously. I was trying to apply these three colors on different parts of my eyelid to create some dimension. It turned out to be the same color on my eyelid. I can't tell any dimension at all. And this purple color, when you just look at it from the palette, it looks kind of dark, right? But it's actually really light purple. So in the purplish and pinkish color series, you, you actually don't have a dark color to apply to your outer corner to create more dimension. And this dark brown eyeshadow 
It's a little chalky, but I have to say that all these four eyeshadow colors perform extremely well. Extremely silky, buttery, creamy. Another thing that kind of limits this palette is that it does not have a matte eyeshadow at all. So you really need some other matte eyeshadows to create a complete look. There's no matte transition shade that you can use. That concludes my review for these three by Fairy products. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.